Hello everybody, I'm Chantel. We are in Madison, Wisconsin, finally. So if you didn't watch our previous video, go watch it because it was all about how we got here, all the fun stuff we had to do. <laughs> so now we are finally here. We are at Elver Park playing our second practice round. It is a beautiful day, tad bit windy, but this course is beautiful and I'm excited to get it going. Wow, what a beautiful day. Ooh, PDGA is here. They're putting up some cool flags and signs and stuff. It's becoming official. Wow, nice. great putt. I got a new putter. I want to try it. Hey. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Hole two, par four, 432 feet. First shot's wide open. Second one, you got to get it right by the basket. What you going with? I'm going to try and get my D3 and hyzer out a little bit down the hill so I have a more open shot to the basket. Sounds good. Nice. I think that's good. Crash! Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Are you, that. you playing in this tournament? Totally. Oh, the tail is just holding it. Sit. No turn. That is really tricky with this wind. And the slope? Yeah. Oh, man. Chris had the perfect shot. See if he can have the perfect up shot. Get through it. Oh, that's a putt though. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Let's go. Almost fell. <laughs> <laughs> These first few holes are pretty cool, but it's way cooler in the woods. Once you get deep in there, there's some really beautiful holes. Hole three, par three, 294 feet. Just straight ahead, tucked in the trees a little bit. Or even if you go dead straight, you have a putt at it. Yeah. I gotta remind myself of that sometimes. <laughs> hey, I think you got a putt. Yeah. Show. Oh, hey. what a beautiful catch. Great putt. Thanks. That. Miss it. Oh, wow. Okay, that's good. That's that was good. a great throw. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh, no, I'm using all my jump putt power. Oh. What the heck have you been doing? You've been taking steroids? I ate an orange. Hole six, par three, 279 feet. But we're gonna find the actual distance. <laughs> I knew it! 283. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Gorgeous. Nice. All right, now we're getting into the beautiful holes. Pool seven, par three, 231 feet. I think that's good. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Thanks. Hello. Ooh, those are some good drives. Pool eight, par four, 666 feet. It's a crush down there and then to the right on your second shot. What should I throw? That might be a little bit better. Wow. Oh. Back down. 
hole nine, par four, 453 feet. Just down there, a little placement, and then it's up to the right. You want to be left, but you don't want to be left in the bushes. That was great. Whoa, almost skipped her in. Wow. Ah. oh, oh no. Well, I lost the putter I just bought yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> we could not find it anywhere. I don't know if the people we let through accidentally picked it up or no something. No way, there's no way. It was. It shouldn't be that deep in the woods. It makes no sense. I know it was a bad shot, but. Hole 10, par three, 282 feet. I'm gonna try. Go up this little hyzer down. Oh yeah. That's, That's perfect. perfect. Hold. Whoopsie. Hopefully it didn't go too deep. Hey. Nice. Hole 12, par 3, 309 feet. Right down there. Beautiful. Such a beautiful hole. Hey, great shot. <laughs> Thanks. Hole 15, par 4, 390 feet. Pretty easy par 4, unless you're on the sides with all the bushes. Yeah, it's probably not fun in there. No. I wouldn't know, I've never been. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Ooh, great shot. Straight for longer. What? what a loser. She doesn't even know. <laughs> nice. Yeah, this is 338 feet. I think this T sign may be wrong. Hole 16, it says 385 it says and to the 285. 285 and to the right. It's kind of just dead straight. 330. Oh no. Huh. What should I do? <laughs> On the way to 18, there's this cool little path. It's like hiking. <laughs> but funner. But better, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, hole 18. Got the cool flags. Look at this, it's iconic. Beautiful downhill. We got quite a headwind today. It is a par 3, 474 feet. Wow. Hey, you got a jump putt. So I'm short, hey? Just a little. Okay. Oh. Aww. Nice. So, what do you think of the course? I like it. Ooh. A lot of selection. Ooh. That looks good. Buffalo chicken. I don't really like buffalo chicken. Why'd you get it then? Because it looked good. <laughs> I got this one. It what is that? That looks good. The Wicked. It looked pretty good. Okay guys, so since we are in Madison for a whole week, I searched all over the place to find like a pretty nice hotel, but still affordable. So I'll show you what we're working with for the next little week. It's pretty nice. 
Nothing too fancy, but here's the bathroom. Yeah. Shower. It's clean. Sink. <laughs> Closet. You got a nice king size bed. It's a little lumpy. Yeah, it is lumpy. I already checked though, it's like a little foam thing. We got a huge TV. Big old TV. Work desk for Chris. Perfect. Because Chris will still be working throughout the week. And cool red chair. Hell yeah. Also, we have a little hidden microwave and a hidden little fridge. I'm excited for breakfast in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna be great. America. <laughs> Red, white, blue. Yay. Okay, so we just got back from Walmart, Target, and Aldi. We didn't buy anything from Target because it was way too expensive, but we did get some stuff from Walmart and Aldi, and I want to show you guys. Chris got a big old bag of chips. We got some peanut butter and bread so that we can have sandwiches for lunch, and then we got some of these for when I'm hungry on the course. Then I got some pita crackers to go with my hummus. Chris loves Arizona green tea, so we got a bunch of those, water, and then we got some strawberries and blueberries, my roasted red pepper hummus. I love this stuff. And then Chris also got a chimichanga. <laughs> The Walmart was not a super center, so it was really small and they had no produce. It was really weird. I, we had a hard time even finding bread, so we didn't get too much, but altogether I think we spent around $27, which isn't too bad. But now we are gonna go for a little swim, then we're gonna come back, edit the video, and maybe wash some disc golf. <laughs> going for a dipper. Hot tub. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have such a good selection here. It's awesome. I love the waffles. Open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we practicing today? Here's the keys. We are going to Token Creek or Vala Vala Arta Ast. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, one par three, 330. Right down there, pretty open. As you can tell, it is very windy. Oh god. Disc Golf Network. Jomez is gonna be here. I know, that's oh crazy. My God, I'm so excited. They made that sick video. So the course is officially closed for people who are not in the tournament. So I'm just walking the course. There's a lot of golf to be had. So we're not gonna show you every shot, but uh, we're gonna show you some highlights and you'll get the gist of it. Great job. Wow, that was crazy. <laughs> wow. That was great. It's so beautiful here. Sorry for all the noise. We are right by a highway. Wow. Isn't it nice? nice? Hey. Not bad, not bad. Wow, <laughs> oh, baby. Oh. 
<laughs> hey! Whoa, drone flyover. Cool. <laughs> Guys, they're getting the flyovers. A little behind the scenes for you. Hole 7, par 3, 205 feet. This hole's really cute. Yeah, a little sidearm, they got a fence. Chantel hitting the gap like she meant to. Woo! Chantel's making friends. All the path seems to be this wood chip. It is so nice here. They do a really good job keeping it all clean. Let's go! Smart! So we are here at Fireman's Park. Yeah, it was two minutes away from our hotel. They have three baskets. It's just a little practice area. So I'm gonna come putt. Practice them up shots. Oh, this is so cool. It has just three baskets. Perfect for putting and up shots and that's about it, but it's perfect for what we need. Oh yeah. So I just had a productive putting practice, I guess yes. you could say. Uh, my jump putts were pretty good. I still am having trouble with like my 25 footers, but anyway. We are going to get some pizza for dinner. Hey. Yay! Looks pretty cool. Oh. I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> Last practice day. Woo All right, what's the game plan for today, Chantel? So it's the last day to get my practice in. We're gonna practice here at Token Creek. I've only played here once, so I just wanna make sure I know exactly what I'm doing. It mostly seems like just open fairways, don't go into the rough, throw straight, <laughs> and get your birdies when you can. So that's what I'm gonna be trying to do. Hopefully I can hit some good putts. I might do a little bit more putting practice, I'm not sure, but we might head over to Elver Creek for a one-shot disc round just to see where I'm at. And yeah, it's gonna be a nice day. Oh yeah. Oh no, it's perfect. Wow. Good? Yeah, that's All good. Right. Definitely not OB. I'm going the back row. Hey. Oh my God. No way! <laughs> oh, good boy! Boy, <laughs> good boy! That was nice. Wow. Amazing. Come here, Chance. I don't want him to take this. Fish. I need to bring him everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> So we're sitting and taking a little break, just enjoying this beautiful day. It is so nice out. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about that really cute dog who found my disc. We were looking for my disc for like, not quite 10 minutes, but we were looking for a while. And he just comes strolling in with this big, huge dog. His, what was his name, Chase? I think so, yeah. I think his name was Chase. He's 144 pounds. <laughs> just this huge lab. But yeah, he lives in the Madison area and he just goes to the disc golf courses and he helps people find their discs. And I just think that's so cool. And he actually found the disc. Like <laughs> we were looking for it, we couldn't find it. He just comes in, takes like about two minutes and he just finds it. And then he walks away like it's his disc. <laughs> Was great so I lost the bolty thingy for my Zuka cart so we tried to tape it but that thing just keeps popping out I need to go get an accessory pack that was great oh I love that disc
Nice, good rip. Thanks. We're going for a little walk. Get some smoothies from Smoothie King. Yes. Oh yeah, it's like a couple blocks from our house. Our house. Our house. <laughs> from Feels like from it. the hotel. <laughs> Ooh, healthy. Ooh, they're so good. Yeah. I got a nutrition boost one. I don't know what's in it. Blueberries, <laughs> strawberry, deliciousness. So we just got done the last practice round at Elver Park. I played Elver Park four times. Yeah. And I played uh, Token Creek twice, but Token Creek is pretty like just, actually they're both, just throw it straight and you should be okay. Which I uh, seeming to have a little bit of an issue there at the end, but I think I'm just really tired. We are on our way to check in and then there is a mandatory player meeting. And then afterwards, we are just going back to the hotel to chill out for a little bit and then go to sleep. And then tomorrow is the big day. <laughs> Why? Ooh, fancy. I don't know where to go. Yeah, there's too many buildings. <laughs> Whoa, this is a big building. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love all your YouTube videos. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Good luck this week. Thank you. Everybody gets one. Yeah. Yeah. Amateur, professional, well, everybody gets one. All right, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> and then you. You only get one. Quit stealing. On behalf of the staff and board of directors of the PDGA, I'd like to welcome you all to the 2022 United States Women's Disc Golf Championships. So we just got back to the hotel a little while ago. It is 9.30. Yeah. And tomorrow I tee off at 12.24. Yes. I get to sleep in and then wait around all day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting more and more nervous, so that's just what always happens. I was not nervous at all this week. I didn't feel any nerves until today when I was thinking about the tea times and when they were coming out and then I started getting a little antsy. I was like, oh my gosh, now I'm nervous. So that is the end of this video, but the next video will be all about the tournament. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.